Brussels sprouts are members of the Brassica family. They've evolved to produce bitter compounds as a defense against herbivores. They do this by storing precursor molecules in their cells. When the plant's damaged, the precursor molecules are released from their packaging and come into contact with enzymes that convert them into the bitter compounds that we love to hate. It's no wonder then that around the Christmas dinner table, nothing divides opinion like sprouts. I think they're delicious if they're cooked well, but if you're a hater, there are a few science-based tips that might just win you over. One, eat your sprouts with red wine. Now, I don't need much encouragement to have a glass of red wine with Christmas dinner, but there was a study that found that eating sprouts with red wine reduced the perception of bitterness in the sprouts. The idea is that the tannins in the red wine make proteins in your saliva clump together, and they may interfere with the distribution of bitter compounds in your mouth. Either that, or you're too drunk to care. Two, exposure therapy. We can learn to like foods that we dislike by pairing them with foods that we do like. In one study, children aged three to five were given sprouts every day as a snack for 14 days. One group got sprouts on their own and the other group got sprouts with cream cheese. And then at the end, all of them were given sprouts on their own and asked if they liked them. Among the children who had sprouts on their own, only a quarter of them said that they liked the taste. But among the group that had them with cream cheese, 72% said they liked them. So if you don't like sprouts, dip them in cream cheese, wrap them in bacon, whatever works for you. Three, cook them right. For me, the best ways to cook Brussels sprouts are frying and roasting. Here, I've sliced them up thin and I'm gonna fry them in some oil. The key is to get them nice and brown. High heat facilitates the Maillard reaction, in which sugars and amino acids react and produce a wide range of delicious compounds. When you get them nice and brown using these methods, cruciferous vegetables develop wonderful nutty and savory flavors that you don't get from boiling them in water. Four, flavor enhancers. You can also offset bitterness by exciting your other tastes. I like to add shallots for sweetness, a squeeze of lemon juice for acidity, and bacon or parmesan for salt and umami. To be honest, these magic ingredients will perk up almost any vegetable side dish. 